The world is changing. There is increased pressure on resources and the environment. With a significant growth in air travel projected in the coming decades, we need to find and develop innovative solutions for a more sustainable future. Aviation has to become more sustainable and what we are trying to achieve in Footprint 50 is to prepare grounds for a hybrid electric 50-seat aircraft. There are challenges related to the electric propulsion, the resulting heat generation, the integration of more efficient propulsors with the aircraft, and also public acceptance of possible new configurations that look different from what we're used to at the moment. Within the Footprint 50 project, we identified six or seven alternative hybrid electric aircraft architectures. And the reason for that was to have a widely open design space that will allow us to discover non-conventional and non-standard solutions. We are very open in terms of aircraft configurations. We have different energy storages, we have different powertrain architectures that all would lead in the end to a different aircraft configuration. Fuel tanks, propulsors distributed around the aircraft that all can be different. And being very open at the moment, in the next phase we will reduce, coming down to two, three configurations that are very promising. And then we will come at the end to one favorite configuration that could be taken on uh, to being industrialized. Most of our work packages, we try to bring our forces together to join. But of course, we have, uh, uh, we have brought the leadership to different uh, work packages. So Embraer took the uh, reference aircraft and all the framework. So all the market intelligence comes to the first work package that says, what is it the market needs? Then there is the state of the art, uh, where Cranfield took the lead in what is technologically out there, state of the art, each of the pieces. And then we develop each of the systems. We do these deep dives where uh, TU Delft is taking energy harvesting, Cranfield is taking optimization, uh, Embraer is leading on thermal management. CEUA, the French uh, research organization, is working on batteries. So we bring this together and then Stuttgart, our task is to make an aircraft out of this plus our non-European partners, which is the Russian team. So there's uh, five Russian entities that collaborate and have a lot of experience in electric machines, in aerodynamics, in uh, superconductivity, for example. So all topics that are of interest to our program. There is Embraer in Brazil. There is an advisory board, which is international with Canadian partners in the advisory board of Footprint. And uh, finally, uh, as we have promised, an open tool uh, Cranfield will take care of designing this open tool environment where all our research results will be fed into and that will be available to anyone who is interested in hybrid electric aircraft design so that he can test his ideas. At Cranfield University we study everything about propulsion systems and most importantly we study for a very long time hybrid electric propulsion systems and that brings us to a unique position to be able to materialize those in real life. But at the same time, we have this unique capability to having systems, a view of these complex problems, and having methods and tools that allow us to bring high-level architectural behaviors in relation to more detailed component behavior. CEA is the Institute for Atomic Energy, but also for new alternative energy. For the Footprint 50 project, we are developing new models for energy storage, batteries and fuel cells, which is the energy source to make the aircraft fly. Today, we do not have the final design of the battery but we are working with the other partners to integrate and to design correctly this energy storage system to be able to put it in the aircraft. Embraer is very focused on the thermal management and also for the integration of all systems and having the reference of the aircraft. Thermal management is key for hybrid electric propulsion. Uh, in order to avoid all the impact of the heat inside the airframe, the dissipation of this heat, 
It's one of the big challenges of this project. So our team at Delft is focused on the propeller integration, aerodynamics and aeroacoustics, and particularly the use of propellers in a new, unexplored mode. We want to use the propellers to regenerate energy during the descent part of the mission. Now that means that we are using the propellers in a way that hasn't been considered before. The resulting aerodynamics on the propeller blades are completely unknown, so we are uh, exploring this for the first time, really diving into the, the fundamentals of the blade loading and resulting noise generating mechanisms. Here in Stuttgart at the Institute of Aircraft Design, we have one team, which is my team of aircraft design, where we have a, a, a team of manned flight taking care of these uh, manned platforms, Egenius, Ikeri mainly. Then we have analytical aircraft design, which plays into footprint 50 with all the design capability of larger aircraft and integration, certifiable integration of aircraft systems, powertrains, new architectures in there. And we have a, a department which is scaled flight testing, where we can prove very early with uh, scaled models what configurations work better and what does not work so good. We have to also think ahead the, the future around our aircraft, not only technologies and the aircraft, but there is a whole aviation system out there. There is a whole system aviation is operating in, and all this has to come together. And that's why we're preparing these roadmaps, not only on the technological side, so we have a te technology roadmap, but we also are preparing, for example, a regulatory roadmap. So what about certifying all these new things? That's what we have to bring to maturity to really prepare the future. An important part of the project is the Footprint 50 Academy. In this academy, we're actually training the students, the engineers of the future, to teach them more about hybrid electric aircraft. Through this Footprint 50 Academy, we prepare the next generation of engineers and we transfer all the work that we are doing in the project and all the results so that they can use it. By educating and bring them challenges that we don't have the opportunity to study within the project will allow us to accelerate and come to solutions that otherwise we wouldn't be able to achieve. We want to address with Footprint 50 a global challenge. So it's important to work in an open manner, and it's good that also Embra is participating as an OEM, uh, bringing their knowledge in this open framework, and all this will be in the end available to the community to make a better aviation system. Embraer is well versed in developing new technologies together with different institutions, including universities and partners all around the world. We do believe open innovation is a great way to get the best of hybrid electric propulsion. So this is a great opportunity for us together to evolve the technology and try to have in the future better products, not only for Embraer, but the future for all the aviation. By having an OEM in the consortium, we really gain access to inside information that otherwise we wouldn't have. And I think that really makes a difference between only developing technologies or developing technologies that will actually be used in the development of future aircraft. Embraer has always been at the forefront of global aviation. And innovation permeates throughout the organization and throughout our business. As we look for sustainable technologies in aviation, I am pretty sure those will emerge first in the regional segment, and that is where Embraer is a global leader. Embraer has proven traditionally to be a very innovative company, and they have a good sense for what is required in the market. And uh, the need for sustainable aviation is something they are following, they're going after. They master this size of aircraft. So uh, they want to have a hybrid electric product in the market by 2035 and would be one of the few worldwide that could deliver on that task. By developing hybrid electric technologies, we can cut down the emissions of aircraft close to urbanized environments near the airport. 
and that will really enable a different type of regional aircraft operation, moving closer to cities and connecting cities to improve our mobility. So it's very exciting to think that aviation will change in the near future, and the aircraft that we are all familiar today, they will change, they will be different. It's very rewarding to know that with my work, I have contributed to this new shape and type of aircraft of the future. Footprint 50 has really offered us the opportunity to share our passion for innovation and market developments with leading aeronautical scientists, engineers and innovators to develop a new, more sustainable aircraft. I really do believe that together we can evolve to a more sustainable way to fly. I really enjoy working on this project because I know that I work for our next generation to offer them a greener future and a greener world. Our time frame is 2030, 2035, and I would say looking at design cycles and taking into account that we have a variety of new systems on board, uh, 2035 is a realistic target, but it is also ambitious. And uh, what I tend to say if the question is um, when will we have it, I can tell you one thing for sure. If we don't start today, we will never have it. So we have to get going and have to move along. Thank you very much. Thank you.